What's going on guys? So last year I checked out LG's Super UHD NanoCell TV and explored how it performed from a gamer's perspective. Spoiler alert, it performed well, but it wasn't perfect. Despite how much I loved the product, LG's local dimming technology at the time left me wanting deeper black levels and better contrast for games and other content. Well, jump ahead eight months and the TV maker has released their 2018 new Super UHD TV with new features and improvements addressing these issues. So today we'll be pitting LG against, well, themselves to see if the new and improved unit has actually improved. If you're wondering how much has been recycled from last year's model, the answer is a lot. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means LG got a lot right the first time around. Back again is the NanoCell LCD panel that offers outstanding color accuracy with a bright, beautiful image that can be appreciated with minimal distortion from sharp viewing angles, reducing the number of bad seats in the living room. The screen delivers the same 4K image at 60Hz via four HDMI 2.0 ports, still no display port, but that's cool, I don't care. I don't care at all. Mm. While we're back here, you also get three USB 2 ports, optical out, Ethernet 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, and a 300 by 300 VESA amount. LG rewards HDR connoisseurs with continued support for HDR10 and HLG, with an added feature called Advanced HDR by Technicolor that tone maps the image based on the colorist's company's preferences, for a natural appearance that lets you watch TV and film content as intended by the cinematographers. How good this filter actually looks in practice, though, will largely depend on the source content. Dolby Vision makes its return, but is now accompanied by Dolby Atmos for immersive 3D sound, ideally when paired with a rock and speaker system and not the built-in drivers that get a solid meh out of 10. Like 2017's model, you can enable the same game mode that effectively reduces input lag for what's still one of the best gaming experiences in the living room. Solving the long-time issue of input lag for gamers was a huge achievement for LG last year, but I was kinda hoping to see more gaming-centric features on the new model to really take things up a notch. Since last year, LG introduced their AI ThinQ brand, which implements artificial intelligence and deep learning into a number of LG devices and appliances that can talk to each other and anticipate your needs like your X never could. 2018's model now serves as a hub through which you can issue voice commands to essentially boss your smart home around like the hosts in Westworld, which as we all know turned out great for everybody. The built-in webOS brings together all the big video streaming apps such as Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Sling TV, and YouTube along with a web browser. Here you can connect your Amazon Echo or your Google Home, which should make searches a thousand times better than using an on-screen keyboard. Yeah. Overall, the UI is super clean and easy to navigate with the familiar ergonomic remote that's sure to please any kind of grip. As such, I wouldn't recommend leaving it alone with your wife. Now circling back to last generation's subpar black levels and contrast, new full array dimming technology is advertised as having solved much of the issue by controlling more LED light zones. The LEDs on the new TV operate with a higher number of dimming zones in order to reduce the amount of edge bleed on lit objects. This in turn makes for a higher quality and more natural looking image. While we can confidently say black levels and contrast have been improved on the latest model, edge bleed has merely been reduced and not eliminated. You still get a light to dark gradient on any black bars, and there's also a fairly prominent halo effect when isolated light objects are in front of a dark background. The average customer probably won't care, or even notice it, while those more sensitive to this kind of thing should probably look into an OLED display if their wallet allows. At the time of filming, the brand's own 65-inch OLED 2018 model retails for about a thousand bucks more than the $2,500 unit we're exploring today. Interestingly, last year's 65-inch NanoCell model is selling for half that price, which is definitely something to consider. In terms of quality, you really can't go wrong either way, so at that point it just boils down to the features you're looking for, and of course, how much you're willing to spend. I'll drop some links to the retail page and LG's NanoCell Super Challenge campaign video if you want to learn more. But that's all I got for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this one down below, and if it ticks all the boxes for your ideal TV. Before you guys go, feel free to toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it and get subscribed so you don't miss out. Till next time guys, thank you so much for watching, have a good one, and I'll see y'all in the next video.